I'm actually back in Bergen on a day when it's not raining. So today I'm going to look for the statue of Grieg. This is not Grieg. This is Ibsen and this is scary. When I look at this, all I can see is Gary Oldman's Dracula with sideburns. But there is a link. Ibsen wrote the five act play Peer Gint and he invited Grieg to write incidental music for it. And the most famous part is of course in the Hall of the Mountain King. So I'm going to leave this scary Ibsen character and go and look for Grieg. This of course is Edvard Grieg. A really nice elegant statue. Do the clean up. But now that I've seen it, uh, I'm a little underawed because I've just seen an excellent statue on the way down here. So while searching for the statue of Grieg, I found Ule Bull. And the link with Grieg is that when Grieg was 15 years old, Ule told his parents the boy had talent and they should send him to the Leipzig Conservatory to be trained. This is the man who was one of the most outstanding violinists of his era, often compared with Paganini for his clarity and speed. He travelled the world and made a fortune. And it's reputed he was taught by the Fossagrim, the water spirit, often associated with waterfalls, who can be called up on a Thursday evening with the offering of food, and in exchange will teach you how to play the violin. Is it true? I don't really mind, I just think it's a wonderful fairy story.